no, no. So, no. guys, no? <laughs> you're supposed, you said you're going to be supportive of no. this panel. No. <laughs> you well, first, uh, personally, not, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, no, you said it's a great I've been, idea. I've been Let's do it. So, guys, this this is us leaving AWOL in Italy, and we're going to head to France. Why are we going to France, Barbara? Can I show my fantastic shoes, please, on yes. the camera? <laughs> That's the only reason why we're in this camera. Look at those bad okay, boys. I love my shoes. Yay! Yay. So, Barbara, what, what have you nominated for? I've been nominated for sustainability and we are all nominated for the best charter boat ever. That's what we're going to so we just left the boat, uh, we're going to head to the car, got a six, five, six hour journey back to France and then uh, we'll get dressed and ready into our outfits. It's a Gatsby theme um, tonight for the 2018 Eight Crew Awards. As previously mentioned, uh, Barbara's been uh, nominated for sustainability, I've been nominated for Master 500 and the whole AWOL crew have been nominated for Best Charter Crew 2018. So wish us the best of luck, watch the rest of this video, uh, we're going to get picked up in a van uh, from, from Antibes and then we're going to be taken to Nice to the event at Le Palais in, in Nice where there'll be a red carpet and an award ceremony and a nice three course dinner so hopefully it'll be a fun day and a fun afternoon and a fun evening <laughs> and there's the barber rack <laughs> are you excited about your nomination? yeah I'm very excited I'm excited about the party the dinner and the cocktails actually fantastic and there's also the red carpet Oh, the red carpet. The red carpet. Well. You didn't see my dress yet. You're going to be surprised. I think we're all going to be looking pretty good tonight. We, we, we're going to yeah. be uh, Gatsby, the great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Gonna great. It's going to be fantastic. Go AWOL. Wish us luck, guys, if I can say. It's not about luck. It's because we've been working hard and we deserve it. We are working very hard this season. We already we got two, big, two bookings for next year. So well, our chartering is fantastic. So looking forward to that. <laughs> So we got back home around 12 o'clock, just woken up for a glorious snooze and now we're going to get ready upstairs, get changed for the 2018 Acre Awards in Nice. So time to go upstairs and get changed. Next time you see me I'll be suited and booted. So we are all set and ready for the 2018 Acre Awards in Nice. Uh, again, we have been nominated for three awards. We're really excited. It's a Gatsby theme, as you can as you can see. So looking pretty dapper this evening. Uh, going to head into Antibes first. We're going to meet a bunch of friends, and then we've got a van picking us up and taking us to Nice. And the event starting at 6:30. So fingers crossed, we lit, we win at least one award. I hope um, tonight. Uh, if not, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to um, recording it as well for you guys. Enjoy. So just waiting for the Uber to arrive for the 2018 Acre Awards. And this is my date for the night, the beautiful Jivanator. Jivanator instigator looking like a million dollars, as they say. Are you looking forward to this tonight? I am. Yeah. Taking home all three prizes. Taking home all three awards. So heading on to first, meet up with the crowd, getting into the van, heading to Nice. Then we've got a red carpet event, then some cocktails, then the awards. And a we bit of dancing. And for a sure. bit of dancing. Looking forward to it. The, um, Jimena and I are just in the Uber on our way to Antibes. She's looking absolutely stunning. I'm looking okay, I guess. <laughs> we've got to say, Jimena, gorgeous. gorgeous. Thank you very much. Uh, Gatsby. Great Gatsby. So on our way, should be there about 20 minutes and then um, meet up with the rest and jump in the van, head to Nice and enjoy Hi the evening. Guys, here we are with Chief Engineer Pete. Let's... Pete, how are you doing this evening? We're good, we're good. Here to uh, to watch AWOL receiving all of their awards apparently. So how many of the three do you reckon they're going to win? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half out of three? Yeah. That's not bad, eh? So they're going to chop an award in half? It's alright. So, yeah, they're going to have to. Okay. Just You're just going to get the arms. So what, what's your plan tonight? I mean... I'm gonna, I'm, no, 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 I'm uh, going to keep it all together. Okay. I'm uh, here on Represent. my own, so representing the single crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And he had obviously very good planning because you got yeah, your I suit. Yeah, I got dressed about 35 minutes ago. Yeah. As you, you can know, see. You actually got the suit 35 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Who learned you the suit? 
Uh, Jen and Jason of the Crew Grapevine. The Crew Grapevine? Tell yes. us a bit about the Crew Grapevine. Uh, the Crew Grapevine is probably the best place for crew to find accommodation when they arrive here in Antibes. Uh, offering both accommodation as well as a lot of day work. I'm pretty sure you guys have used them uh, quite used a few them, times. Actually. When we had Lizzie, we used them a lot actually. I yeah, they're, Jason all the time. they're pretty good. Uh, yeah. Fast, reliable crew, great place for accommodation and they've got a nice message board for people to find work. Yeah. So uh, people don't really stay there for very long. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty good choice. A quick question for you. You've been in the industry now quite a few years. For those of the people that want to join the industry and go into the engineering section or engineering department, what would you recommend the best route to take is? I would actually have to say start as a deckhand uh, and try and work under someone who's willing to impart knowledge on you. Um, you know, some people get stuck uh, on the mindset to becoming an engineer outright and you end up making a lot of the mistakes. Best thing you can do is work for a chief engineer who's willing to actually give you a little bit of their knowledge for free and they're the ones with all the accountability. So start slow, get your AEC and just work your way up from there. Perfect, great. Pete, thank you very much. What is happening, guys? Good job. How are you? You okay? Yeah, good. Oh, you're looking sharp, huh? Oh, dear, look at this strapping young man here. Are you ready for this? Are you bored, sir? Yeah. What's your question? Is, is AWOL going to win tonight? Of course. Of course. What's the question? They're nominated for, we're nominated for three awards. How many are you going to win? The best boat ever. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> How many are we going to win of the three? All Charter. three or just one? Is like so best, best charter yacht crew. Yeah. I don't know uh, how many to actually get Sustainability. And the chef is not. Ah, uh, chef, chef. Uh, <laughs> sorry, James. I love you really. Um, and me, master five hundred. Definitely Most not. Of Definitely not. I just wing it all the time. Master debater. Master debater. Master debater. Yeah. Best shot. I hope Best so. But we're up, we're, you, you realize How many did you do? We're actually up against. Um, we're up against Mario Joy, yeah. which is a centimeter, and I think it's a Titania or Latania. Yeah. So they're both like big boys with like the little one. But maybe I don't know. We're the underdogs, I think. They've they've got a lot of backing, they've got a lot of crew, so for us it's gonna be um so a lot of they make it? Uh, what the point they see during the during the shelter for the shelter. Well the, I think what, what they do is they they basically get all the nominations yeah. and they they sent us a, a number of questions we had to record. Uh, on with a with a video camera and send it to them, answer the questions. Right. And I think the judges, I think was, I believe tw around 20 judges, they went, I guess, to all the brokers and yeah, spoke to how how the boats did, how the result was from the clients, the feedback from the clients. It's what I'm guessing's happened, but I'm not really sure. And then from that information, they've chosen the winner out of the three. So we're down to the three finals, which is really good. So, yeah, good. Really good. And if you win, what do you win? Pride. <laughs> so I don't want anything, it. just to say that, yeah. we're, just to boast. That's good. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Uh, are they gonna put an article on magazine after that? Or? I hope so. Well, what I've already spoken to our central agent, which is IYC. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah. And uh, I want them to. Well, they. I think they're gonna do like a press release and things like that. And I don't know if they could be on magazines. I assume so. But it's just general page. reputation. Yeah. In the, with, with this bow tie, <laughs> definitely. Cool. cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Already Have a great back. evening. Ready. Oh, on the rack. Hey, Look at you. Captain, how are you? Oh, yeah, You're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, how are you? Yay! What's up? What's up? Oh, Barbara, I love that dress, actually. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Hey! 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 Oh, you got some? Okay, I got yeah. some. Should we take a picture of them? <laughs> I was stupid. <laughs> You're not filming, are you? <laughs> nope. What is this? Can I speak past you? Here we are. Thank you very much. I saw what it
Magical. Norman, could you announce the winner, please? On behalf of Yale Global and the entire Yale community who truly cares and can make a difference, I'm very proud to announce the winner as Barbara Clare. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here with Captain David Pop from the Wellesley. David, you've just won Best Master 3000, so big, big congratulations. Tell us how you feel. Yeah, yeah I feel good. Um, it's the first time they're doing this thing, and uh, you won an award as well, so congratulations. Thank you very to... much. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, I think it's great, and in the future it's going to get better and better. And um, yeah, honoured to be part of the first one. And I think uh, I think we both agree it's our crew. And our management and our owner that makes us what like, as, as successful as we are. So exactly. Um, but yeah, and c coming from a guy that's been in the industry for for many many years, for those people who uh, are from the outside looking in and wanting to you know find a job, 
in the yachting industry or looking to change it and a career path, what, what's your advice for, for new people that want to, to come in and find a career, whether it be as a captain or engineering or whatever it might be, what advice would you give to, to anyone from anywhere around the world? Well, I think you, you need to be passionate about something. Um, you don't need to be a person that loves the water and loves swimming and wants to drive a boat. Uh, I never wanted any of that. Um, but it certainly is an interesting industry where you can meet a lot of people and it's, a, it's an industry for, for people that have a character and if you've got a character and you can create some fun on a boat, I think you, you'll be fine. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different training courses you can do and so on. Um, and the one thing that, that's being worked on at the moment is an internship sort of familiarization program. And I think that that might be good for people that can come out in the winter, get familiar with the, with the, the companies, um, you know, the, the, the local companies, suppliers, you know, go and deliver some stuff to the yachts, meet some captains, meet some crew. That way, when you hit the ground running in, uh, in you know, the season, uh, you, you're not, you know, two weeks or three weeks back from everyone else. Um, so yeah, you can uh, you can find out more information about that. <laughs> um, and then just one final question for you, as a captain, when you are looking to employ crew, okay, from any department, what are the characteristics that you look for? What's the most important thing to you as a captain? For me, I don't really look at what someone is on paper. Um, I like to speak to someone, you know, look them in the eye have a proper conversation over Skype or in person if possible. Um, I think it's, it's, it's more your, you know, your handshake, your smile, um, you know, are you clean cut and clean shaven and are you somebody that can present, be representable of a, of a yacht, you know, billionaires um, want people that are proud and people that can, you know, carry the name of the yacht. So for me it's a, it's, it, it has very little to do with what you come in and your basic qualifications. It's more about your personality um, and someone that is fun and active, but also keeps, you know, takes care of, of their crew and is aware of the fact that you know, a messy crew won't survive. And you know, you, you need to do your part. You need to work hard and play hard. And if, if you have that character, you'll make it. Perfect, David. Again, congratulations on the uh, on the Master of the House Award. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Cheers, man. And good luck for the winter. Cool, I'll see you on Cheers. the dance floor. Take care. <laughs> yeah. Good evening everybody, we're back from Nice, back in Antibes. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big congratulations to Barbara for winning the Sustainability Award for the Super Yacht industry, that's amazing. She does really work hard to sustain the industry, to go clean. All the products that she uses on board is all environmentally friendly. Uh, second of all, thank you to the A crew for putting on such an amazing event. Very proud to say that I did win uh, Best Captain Master 500. So thank you to everybody that uh, voted for me, the nomination, and also to the judges that made the final decision. So thank you for that. Now we're just in Antibes waiting for our Uber to arrive and we'll go home, have a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow, another five hour drive back to Via Reggio where we will all have an early night and then Monday morning sea trials survey and then shipyard thank you good night everybody it's been an amazing 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 evening had probably one too many glasses of wine so a little bit tipsy but uh, it's been great and um thank you to the a world crew thank you to g baby thank you to the Jivinator and to all my team have a great one